okay now let's see in this question we need to calculate voltage and current in this we'll have three mesh three variable three equation so first mesh equation is minus 10 of i1 minus i2 plus 2 minus 1 i1 is equal to zero. second mesh equation is minus 5 i2 then minus 15 i2 minus i3 minus 10 into i2 minus i1 is equal to zero again and in the third mesh as you can see we'll have current source so equation will get directly from the current source that is i3 and 4 ampere both are in the opposite direction so i3 is equal to minus 4 ampere this is your third equation now the question is they don't want i1 they don't want i2 and they don't want i3 right what they want voltage and what they want current current they have already marked that is in 10 ohm as you can see that current is in the middle wall and in the middle wall there is a flow of double current so i and i1 direction is same i1 is also moving up to down i is also moving up to down so i1 would be positive i2 and i direction is opposite because i2 is moving down to up but i is moving up to down so it is in opposite direction so that would be i is equal to i1 minus i2 from here we'll get i now the next question is how can we calculate voltage voltage they have asked it uh, across the current source always remember whenever there is a voltage whenever they want us to calculate voltage so we'll have one single formula that is ohm's law p is equal to i multiplied by r so if we'll have resistance we can get current but if we'll have current can we get resistance see in this question we already know the current right but we don't have resistance so we can't get resistance obviously you know then in that case we have to modify the things as you can see at this point and at this point voltage is same basically at this point and at this point voltage is same because these both are connected in parallel and in parallel connection voltage is same so we'll calculate voltage in 15 ohm that would be the voltage across 4 ampere so voltage across 15 ohm is again current multiplied by the resistance resistance is how much 15 ohm now see the sign convention which they have marked they have marked the positive here and negative here that means their current is moving like this that is similar with i2 i2 is also moving up to down so we'll mark i2 i3 is moving down to up so we'll mark i3 so that would be i2 minus i3 multiplied by 15 that is equal to the voltage understood